Alright, It's time yeah. to draw some astronauts. I it still, could, could still we... says you were playing Terraria. I know, I, uh, Twitch can't broke. I, I can't change that, it won't let me log into Twitch. It'll let me, ch it'll let me change the title of the channel, it won't tell me what we're playing. So nuts to it, people are going to think we're playing Terraria. Who cares? <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're not, playing, we're not playing anything, we're streaming random.org in the browser window and we're going to draw some astronauts. I've got a text document Plain. in the little corner that's probably invisible, so I'm going to make it bigger so people might be able to see it. Make that bigger. Oh, there we go, that's bigger. Just about. I, doesn't need to, I didn't even need to stream the whole text window, did I? But there we go. <laughs> no. that's, that's a nice shiny text document there. C can you reduce can you the width? Uh, not on the fly. I have to oh, stop okay. everything and it's go fine, and fine. deal with stuff. So that's fine. You you just don't know all the deal. If you want to know all the deal with true randomness and stuff in the background, go to random.org yourself and have a look at random.org because it's something to do with proper randomness as opposed to fake randomness, and they're so much better than every other kind of random. Either way, it, it seems to be the go-to thing for random number generators. So we have. We were hoping to have a 16-man ma uh, mashup. We haven't had 16 entrants, so we're going to have to only make it three rounds, make it a little bit shorter, a bit more streamlined, a bit more svelte, and we're going to have a fast tournament of only three rounds, eight players. It's a shame, but it means we have to make less t-shirts, so ha. Uh, right, so we've got the eight people who have actually got back to us within the week. Thank you very much to you guys on the Kickstarter survey. I'm disappointed at the number of people that said it, no. There was a lot of people were like, "Oh no, no, I don't have the skills for this." Well, you're lost because, uh, well, you're going to be there. You're going to see what it's all about. There ain't going to be much skill involved. It's going to be very, very silly and a lot of fun. And shame you should have joined in. So we've got eight people. We've got they are numbered there in the window. You can probably just about see them. We've got Sean Delat, Kyle Quinn, Byron. Samantha Burrow, John McClear, Sarah C, Amy Fallon, and plus one. One unidentified person. And we have three people who bought into the Mashnaut position, so they're guaranteed, they're definitely going to be playing. Those three people are absolutely guaranteed Mashnaut places. But we need five people to face off against them for glory and honour and gaming pride and stuff. So, about time we drew some numbers, yes? Yeah. So, do you see my mouse in this window? Does this capture my mouse? No. I don't think it does. No. Nope. No, the button goes blue when I hover over it. That's how you know I'm about to press a button. <laughs> so, the first number. Between a minimum of one and a maximum of eight, numbers assigned to the people on the screen there. And we're just doing this live so everybody absolutely knows this is totally, absolutely, definitely fair. Well, I want to be no doubt about this. The first person who will be a astronaut is... Bing! Number four. Number four goes to Samantha Burrow. So I'll type that in. Winner. Hey. Zars. <laughs> okay. Do, do we do we want to draw this out? Should we draw this out and make this dramatic? Would you Would you like to announce some of the facts about the astronauts and the mashup? Would you like to tell our audience a little bit about it? Uh, bearing in mind that we're not revealing the final, the final via grand unveiling and total secrets. Why don't you tell people what's in store? Um, bizarre, bizarre, awesome, awesome possum, uh, mind mashing, fun, competitive, uh, uh, pulling each other's hairs out at the end, I'm guessing. Uh, probably less of the violence, but <laughs> <laughs> who knows? In, they in, might, they in, might in get a, very, in a very competitive. Way. Anyway, that was that was uh, was wonderfully vague. I was actually I was actually <laughs> expecting specifics, but whatever. Okay, person number two, right? Person number two is if we get a repeat, I'll just draw again because I can't be bothered rewriting the numbers every time to figure out who gets what. So if we get four comes up again, Samantha Burrow does not get two entries. Next one is three, which goes to Byron. I have no idea who's who or what's our last name or anything. All we've got is Byron. So Byron, you are a winner. Do, 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 do. Excellent. We have two people. We have three more to go. 
But we're not going to do it that quickly. We couldn't possibly... We couldn't possibly reveal that quickly. What we should do is... Tell people... What should we tell people? There must be some good things we've got. I mean, obviously, people unfamiliar with where we've come got this from. Uh, if you read the Kickstarter, you might know, but this obviously originates with our rather liking of the Penny Arcade Expo's Omegathon. So it's drawing on a lot of themes there. And they got a lot of cool stuff. And our first round is directly lifted from one of theirs, to be quite honest, just because it looks so utterly much fun. That's absolutely something we're going to be doing. I'll reveal that in a little moment, but... Um, yeah, if you go check out Omegathon on YouTube, not now, wait till the stream's over, and then you can go check it out. You can see the sort of thing we've got in mind and where we'd like to take the mashup and Mastronauts in potential future events. So I think there's a lot of good stuff going on there. I think it's a lot of fun. The final of the PAX Prime, which has just been this previous weekend, uh, weekend just gone. The final for that was Spy Party. Are you familiar with Spy Party? No, I'm not. Okay, uh, weird indie game, kind of still in development. I think it's in open beta at the minute. You can get it by pre-ordering. And the idea of that is that you, one player plays a spy and one player plays a sniper whose job is to watch from an opposite rooftop while the spy goes about his business and try to assassinate him. The spy is in the middle of a sort of middle class, middle class posh party, everyone's milling about, drinking champagne and socialising and whatnot. The spy has to complete a number of objectives within the room and then get to the exit point undetected. So basically you've got one player who's trying to blend in with a crowd of NPCs as well as possible, and the other person has to pick out the person who is the NPC and assassinate them. Oh yeah, yeah, that sounds familiar now. Yeah, yeah. it's really psychological, really quite cool, and if you if you go to the Penny Arcade report, there's a quite in-depth a discussion of the grand final, the last two people playing against each other at Spy Party. And it sounds really quite intense and quite cool, but the only way they could actually stream that live to an audience of how many, 5,000 or something probably, the only way they could actually feasibly do that was by having the actual creator of the game himself set it up for them. So, it's probably a bit outside of our scope. Unless someone actually happens to know Chris Hecker and wants to, you know, pass our phone number on to him and say, hey, give these guys a call. They really like some spy party going on. But no, we're not gonna have spy party, right. but that's the that's definitely the right kind of area we'd like to go for because it's cool. Twitter stalking. Twitter stalking. Just yeah. Just direct message him every few minutes. Hey man, come to our game. Come to our game thing. We're doing a game thing. We want your game. We want your, we want your game at our game thing. You make games right? You want to come make games for us? Did I mention the game of it? <laughs> Yeah, well, we're like packs, but bigger. Anyway, <laughs> I think it's probably about time we had another person. Or right. more from our true okay. random one, one second. One second, I've got something. Oh, you got something? You got something? Where you got? Okay, just listen. See if this works. Announce it afterwards. What you got? That's either static or a big bag of marbles. Are we playing marbles? If you got oh, oh my god, we could have marbles for the final. Let's have marbles. Yeah, that was, was a good way. Actually, it was a, it was a drum roll effect. <laughs> oh right. On, on my end, that sounded just like marbles, and I bet a big, someone getting a big bag of marbles was pouring them out. <laughs> <laughs> and I suspect because you're coming through Skype to me like that, that's exactly how that went out on the stream as well. So yeah, drum roll, please. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, anyway, yes. Drum roll! Ooh, the button's gone blue, that means it's time to draw something. Bing! Three again. Well, we can't have three again, so... And again! Three again. Seriously? Random? <laughs> oh, get your game! Fix your, fix your random number generator, random number generator. Three! Three times in a row. What are the odds? Like, one in... Uh, three, uh, eight times... Pretty low, actually. But it can't happen. It did. Seven! Seven's a good number. Amy Fallon, who I'm told actually isn't act that actually, you don't pronounce the weird accent, it's just Fallon or something. So, Amy Fallon, you are a winner! Do -do 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 -do. 
That brings us up to three, so we've got two more people to pick. Two more people. So, uh, why don't we tell people a little bit about... <laughs> we've only got three rounds, so our sort of... Our... We've been very vague about our first round up to now anyway, even in-house, because I kind of haven't been able to figure out what we wanted to do for the first round for months now. Uh, and the fact that not as many people as we'd hoped have signed up for this means we can now quite comfortably prune that away, which I guess it was dead weight anyway, we didn't need that round, we weren't using it. We had no ideas what to do for it, so it was just going to be something boring and generic, so meh. So how about our quarterfinal? We've only got a quarterfinal, semi-final and a final now. We've reduced it to three rounds. So our quarterfinal... This should be fun. This is the one we've lifted from PAX. Uh, you know what to, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yep. We have three ideas. One of them I stole. You know, <laughs> there's not many options. That would be. Da, 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 da. How many people played Jenga before? How many people have ever been to a pub where they've had Jenga? Possibly. Possibly. What about one of those giant sets? I'm very much aware Bradford University Students Union did for a short stint, then they seemed to get rid of it. I don't know if someone got injured or it was a health and safety hazard or something, but they did have a big giant pub quiz Jenga set. And, you know, that's nice. I mean, Jenga's pretty cool. Jenga, Jenga's a good game. We could we could um, get HP to go head to head with giant Jenga, but I'd rather spice it up a bit. So what we're gonna do is we are going to pair you off uh, I don't know how we're going to pay you off, we'll figure that out. We might leave that to the sole discretion of our, our pet horse. He, he might get final say on who gets paired. But we'll pay you off, and we'll tie you together at wrist and ankle, and you'll go into a kind of three-legged race kind of scenario. You know how you did the three-legged race at school? Yeah, it's like that, except this time you're playing Jenga instead. So uh, that's, that's your quarterfinal. We're going we're gonna to tie two of you pure poor suckers together, and we're going to make you play Jenga in pairs against each other. So, in, in accordance with the rules as set out by Penny Arcade before us, uh, one, one player picks out the block, and the other player, whilst attached to the other person, using their only spare free hand, must retrieve the block that their partner has picked. You may confer, you may confer, so you can say, okay, well, this looks good, this looks good, okay, yeah, you pick that one. So, yeah. I think I think that should be quite entertaining. Sure okay. will. Should be good. Cannot option. wait. See, so, you see, you know when I said people really should have signed up for this because it was going to be fun and less about twitchy sort of pro gaming skill. There's not going to be any MLG stuff going on. We're not going to ask you to play Counter Strike against each other. It's not going to be any of that. We might play a few traditional games, but they'll be always going to be with some silly twist on it that makes it completely weird. We're not going to... I mean, if you've played these games before and are familiar with how to beat them, sure, you're going to be at an advantage, sure, but we're going to do our best to make sure that you're not. It should be fair, just by the sheer bizarre nature of everything. So I think I think we need one more player, right? Uh, no, we need two more players, right? Uh, but we need to draw one before we witter on some more, don't we? So, yeah. true random number generator, please pick us the next number. Three again! You were seriously kidding me? We can't use three! Stop giving us three! Eight! Eight is, <laughs> eight is good. Amy Fallon plus one friend. Amy Fallon plus one. You are also a winner, so you two, I don't know, pair up for, pair up for Jenga if you like. Seems like an ideal pairing. You give yourself a tactical advantage over the enemy. Anyway, so that leaves us with four people, and only one more of those can enter. Four will enter, one will leave. There can be only one, and other such sayings. So, bearing in mind we're not going to announce the final. The final totally definitely has to be a secret, so it's, it's, it's tradition. We don't, we don't announce the final and get the final sprung upon you and you cannot prepare. Because so bear in mind, now that you know that Jenga is the first round, you can play Jenga and you can learn to get good at Jenga. If you want to spend the next two weeks in training for the mashup, I want to buy yourself a Jenga set and play Jenga until you are the best person in the world <laughs> at Jenga. You could do that. That's a thing. 
That's actually a thing that you could do. I'll have to be a giant one, though. Well, yeah, yeah, of course, we're buying a giant set, of course, it's, it's, it's going to be a Do spectator spot. We wouldn't want to have a little table, pra would pra pra Practice on a smaller one, then get to the real thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you buy a warm-up <laughs> set, yeah, you buy a baby warm-up set until you get to the big thing. The big thing is what we're doing. So, uh, we've got a semi-final, though. I think we're free to talk about the semi-final a little bit, because this could be fun. I mean, I've got the equipment to test it out. I probably should actually get on about doing that because I'm about to announce something that might not work. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I've got a couple of dance mats here and they should come in handy. So, a popular game, a popular little flash game that's done the rounds on the internet within the last year or so. Uh, very frustrating game, it's sort of in the genre of games you hate because you're bloody awful at it because there's no way to actually be good at it. It's Surgeon Simulator, no it's not. It's... It is <laughs> Like, Surgeon Simulator is definitely inspired by this, I would have said. It's... Oh my god, Surgeon Simulator on a dance mat. Could you do that? No, I don't think it would be possible. You have to, you have to use your hands as well. <laughs> that, that would be hilarious. But no, uh, that's kind of given the game away a little bit, I suspect. Um, although we never announced the game, did we? Um, it's going to be Co-op. Familiar Co-op? Q-W-O-P. Premise of Co-op? Please tell the good folks what the premise of Co-op is. You know the plot, right? You finished yep. it several times over. <laughs> right, well, tell, the good, tell, the good, tell the good people the, the plot line of Quop. Well, basically, um, you are an athlete from a very obscure, obscure country, Pretty and basically. you you basically just you have to you've got you your legs assigned to well obviously Q W O P keys. And Q, I think QW assigned to your left left leg, and O and P is uh, right leg, but it's one of them's a calf, and one of yeah. them's a thigh. You got four buttons all assigned to four different muscles yeah. in the body, yeah. <laughs> and you are the only representative of your country representing them at the Olympics in the hundred meter sprint. You using the four buttons to control this athlete's four muscles in order to make him sprint must represent your country at the Olympics and attempt to do well. Not gonna lie, most people fall over the starting line and face plant the tarmac. You're probably gonna do the same, but you've got two weeks, you can practice it, but we're not, we're, not, we're, not gonna, we're not going to just let you practice it, we're gonna trip you up, of course we're gonna trip you up. It's gonna be on dance mat. You're gonna be playing co-op on a dance mat. But that's not all, but wait! There's more! <laughs> we're actually, we're going to pay you up for this one as well. It's going to be another one. We're going to make it into a cooperative game. It's going to be co-co-op. Is what we're tentatively co calling it. Co-co-op. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a co-co-op game. So we're going to give you two dance mats. One of you is going to get to control the left leg. One of you is going to get to control the right leg. And you're going to have to control those two legs using your legs. How's that sound? How's that grab you? <laughs> I think that I think that could be quite fun. Yeah, it will, horrifyingly it will. frustrating. And you could potentially learn to sort of figure it out. But yeah, I, I would. Yeah, it's going to be random. You know, you're not going to do very well on this. So yeah, we're going to race until I don't know. We'll, I guess we'll sort of see who gets the furthest up the track. Which, whichever millimeters. Pair gets the furthest, whichever the pair gets the most nanometers up the track will win. Yeah. Yeah. So that brings us squarely to contestant number four. No, not number four. I can't count. Five. Five. Contestant number five. So, drawing from Sean Dolat, Kyle Quinn, John McClear, and Sarah C, we have one more random person to generate. We shall generate a two, which goes to Kyle Quinn. Excellent, uh, Kyle Quinn, you are a winner! Huzzah! So, Winning. <laughs> very, 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 very sorry to Sean Delat, John McClear, Sarah C. Hope you're still going to come down and have a damn good time anyway. We look forward to seeing you there. And... Hopefully see you at a future button mash when you can attempt to be a... Mastronaut Mark II in some better and more advanced tournament. Because it'll be totally even better and stuff. 
that's that's pretty much all we've got going on here tonight, I think, isn't it? We just wanted five people who are now winners. I I I don't know if anyone's noticed, but in the text I've typed Kyle Winner next to Kyle Quinn. His, his name uh, we've re changed his name now. I actually filled in all the paperwork. I've changed it by default. His his name is now Kyle Winner. Which makes it everyone think Win he's related Winner. to... He, I was going to say, yeah, every, everyone now thinks he's related to Michael Winner. So, sorry, uh, sorry Michael Winner. Uh, yeah, we got, we, we got five winners. They are now, uh, combined with the three people who backed us at the Mastronaut tier to become automatic Mastronauts, they make up our intrepid team of eight spacefaring Mastronauts. And they'll be competing in the mashup for grand prizes and awesome loot. So that's about, that'll about do it from us today, I think. So, thank you very much for watching, thanks for stopping by and seeing our silly random drawing stuff. And, shall see you later! Bye!